Hello. No, it is not sunrise on Mars. This is the inside of my 60 gallon compressor. This video will be a report from a test I will be conducting on this thing. It is nasty rusty inside. On the outside it looks nice, but what is going on inside counts. Air compressor tank stores a lot of energy in form of compressed air. In case of rust weakened structure, it can rupture violently, releasing this energy and acting as a bomb, causing extensive damage, severe injury or even death. In the description I put some links to air compressor accidents. I will do the hydro test on this tank. I will fill it with water and apply water under pressure to pressurize it to 150% of the working pressure. Why do I use water? Water doesn't compress as much as the air. In case that the vessel is to give up, I will survive. As the winner of the wet t-shirt contest, but will survive. Here we have the certification tag. Originally this tank was tested and certified to 175 psi working pressure. It was built in 2010. The pressure that I will hold in this tank will be set to 150 psi, therefore the test will be run at 225 psi, as I mentioned before, 150% value of the working pressure. The actual compressor and the electric motor is of the tank. No check valve, no pressure switch. I will test it on its side. For this purpose I constructed such a crate made from scrap wood. I will fill the tank in this position and then, when full, will remove this piece and roll it. The tank is on its side. We can see the bikini bottom, I mean uh, the bottom. This is potentially the weakest part of the tank where water condensate accumulates and it should be drained regularly. Hold on a second, this is the air compressor, where the water is coming from. The water is in the air, in the form of vapor. It is sucked into the compressor and with the temperature and pressure it is squeezed out of the air and collected at the bottom of the tank. The water corrodes the metal wall, the structure weakens over time, and what do we have? Yes, Rico, kaboom is the right answer. Therefore the tank should be tested every few years. The container must be filled with water, with no air trapped in it. The air will be pushed out by water if it is leveled. Pressure gauge in. The outlet is turned into the inlet now and the pressure washer fitting is installed. Water from a garden hose. The nozzle is rubberized so it seals the hole nicely. I will pour the water in until all the air is pushed out and water will flow out of there. Then I will close the nozzle, close this valve to prevent air from coming in and quickly swap the nozzle for a plug. The air is out. The plug is in. opening the valve and topping off with water. It looks like I didn't lose so much during the swap. I dried the tank a little bit to spot any leak. The top valve closed. Let's turn the tank.
Now I prime the pressure washer, connect the gun, open the valve, water under pressure in. I apply short bursts of water because the pressure washer can produce 2000 psi and I need only 225. After 30 minutes the pressure is spot on, no leaks. Ok, let's release the pressure. Did you see the gauge? Pressure dropped instantly. So now you know why I test it on its side. It could take hours to drain all the water by the drain valve at the bottom. This water is used to water flowers. The tank is standing now and the remaining liquid, yes it is no water anymore but liquid rust is drained. Rust buildup clogs the drain. In service it is better to drain it with some residue pressure to purge the valve. I don't know why such a big compressor came with such a small outlet. I ordered once three quarter bushing, but instead two inch straight male thread, it came with two inch pipe thread. Returning it back to the US would cost me more than the bushing itself. Finally, I have found the right one. It turns out that it is a piece of Soviet Russia chassis. Let's remove this one. It seals with a rubber gasket here, no tape, no paste. It doesn't look so bad, the rust appears to be on the surface only. The tank should be set on rubber pads to damp vibrations. Nuts hand tightened. Vibrations can crack leg welds. It used to be that people build things to last. Everything was built good. Today everything is built to be good enough. Last year I bought this 6 gallon air compressor. It is written here, remove tank from service after year 2030. Check from time to time if the safety valve is not stuck. This one will open when the pressure will reach 175 psi. People get hand-me-down compressors or find them on the side of the road or scrap. Repair them and paint so they look nice. Sometimes weld on them. But who checks the condition of the tank inside? Do you have a pressure washer? How much you pay for the water? Stay safe.